Nancy Haverstitch here in the kitchen again because I want to tell you a little bit more about the book I just finished writing, Nanobugs in the Kitchen, a food safety guide for mothers. You know, they say you can tell a lot about a family by looking in their refrigerator and, and their garbage can. But there's a curiosity that humans must have about seeing what's in other people's refrigerators. If you search a refrigerator, online you'll get you'll find all these photos of the inside of people's refrigerators today i'm going to give you a little peek inside mine <laughs> not because it's so fabulous or it has anything special in it but because i want to bond with you and i want to talk about the refrigerator because it's a critical element in food safety it's all about temperature we try to intimidate the nanobugs slow their growth by cooling them down. It works for most of them, except Listeria. Listeria monocytogenes, a cute little nanobug. It's a very small uh, bacterium, but it's not intimidated by the cool temperatures. And that's why she says, I'm no fool, I grow where it's cool. Recently, Listeria has been in the news because it's caused problems related to ice cream and different dairy product, cheese and dairy products. But we'll save that for the chapter on food recalls. But it is all about temperature and your refrigerator must be at the proper temperature. In the, that chapter in the book, I talk about organizing your fridge, uh, cleaning your fridge, um, checking your fridge. It's good to have a thermometer and so Let's put this one in uh, my refrigerator. It's a little button thermometer. When you put it in, you can hang it on a shelf like this. After two hours, if the temperature is appropriate, 40 degrees or less, uh, then OK will show up in bright green on that little button. So that's just one way of checking to make sure that your refrigerator is working properly and intimidating all the nanobugs that it can. Now, I have two questions for you. One, what's in your refrigerator? Is there a thermometer? And there's probably some nanobugs, so you might want to check and make sure if the temperature is correct. The second question, wait for it, what's in your wallet? You know, I'm doing a crowdfunding campaign to raise enough money to do the publication of this book. I'm doing an ebook and a written uh, book. So if you'll help me out and make a donation, you can do that on nanobugs.com. There's a tip jar and it takes PayPal, it uses PayPal and it takes credit cards or checks. And if you make a donation of $25 or more, um, I'll send you temporary tattoos of the 12 nanobugs. If you contribute $50 or more, I'll send you one of these aprons. And if you contribute $100 or more, I'll send you it all, including the thermometer for your refrigerator. So keep cool and intend to be infection free. Mm -hmm.